So World Care Record allows us to see very quickly and efficiently a snapshot of what has been achieved for that person already and where the gaps are, what we need to focus our efforts on. And it allows us to identify that very, very quickly. It gives us that rounded view of what we're doing as a system for each patient. Um, it gives us the ability to see, without fishing through all the different records from the different organisations, whether we've done the right things for our patients, such as um, the diabetics or the people with COPD. Because it's all joined up, we can see the kind of system flow dynamics that we couldn't see when we were looking at each set of data on our own. Rural Care Record will allow me to identify which geographical areas are doing really well in achieving the key measures and which areas are doing less well. And the areas that are doing really well, we want to learn from them, understand what it is they're doing to really help them achieve such good outcomes for their patients. Looking at the wearable care record and, and, and the, the parameters that are within our registries, we can then streamline our care depending on how that they've been managed. So if a patient, if I see that their blood pressure hasn't been achieved or hasn't been um, taken for some time, I can focus on that, understanding that the other parameters have been achieved. The other element of it is the case finding. So this is where we start getting into um, trying to forecast how people may get sick in the future or get unhealthy. So the case finding is definitely around um, frontline staff, your community matron, your social care, um, your GP practice, um, actually identifying individuals that then give them access to that clinical record, the real care record, and they'll be able to see what care and support they need. I think one of the things that's interesting about moving forward is a bit about how do we get upstream of the problems I have to deal with so hopefully someone else has already dealt with them or even that they've never even evolved into a problem um, and I think the World Care Record does provide that opportunity by creating a, a shared platform where information uh, can easily be accessed um, and also that there's the opportunity for some analytical process so we can look at uh, trends, we can look at cohorts within the population, we can look at individuals um, and we can case find. Um, I've just recently learned about the registries and, and the, the, the surgeries and you can see across how, how each surgery is managing the patients which is as a clinical service manager it's going to help me in a way that, where I can target um, practices for education and support and, um, and just overall better manage patient care with regards to, particularly for me and my service COPD. The, the next set of challenges is perhaps the most exciting in that there's almost an endless set of opportunities to explore the value of the, of the care that we're giving to the benefits of having this information shared uh, both at the patient level and at the population health. It's a real important part of how we might work as an integrated care system. The, long-term plans, strategic objectives, a lot of them will be underpinned by this thing. It's really important that you know we deliver the best possible care for the patient without duplication and um, and we need to save time in the NHS so it, it, it just helps everything flow better and become more efficient. <laughs>